Since I discovered the problem, I thought I'd do a quick video of how to take your head unit apart. You take here the first two screws, then there are three on the back. These are metric screws again. These don't come all the way out unless you force them to, so just leave them hanging. It makes it a little easier. Also, I didn't show you, but you have to unplug the ribbon cable. Once you get those three screws loose, the whole thing's pretty much going to fall off, and this is what you're going to be looking at, the PCB. So that is the screw you need to undo next, but I also take off some of these connectors, especially the fan connectors, makes it easier to get the shroud off. And here's the extruder with the fans and the hot end. So next you flip it over, and there's four screws here. The one here, it, not this one, that one, is different. It's shorter, it's a rounded end, the other ones sit flush. So you also have these screws here on the side you need to take out next. And then you have everything kind of in pieces at this point. Here's the inside of the extruder, and this is where I ran into some problems. That nut right there was actually a square nut and was stripped, so it wouldn't compress anymore, so I did replace it. Uh, you can see the square nut here. I replaced it with a M4 hex nut and it seemed to work okay, but I think we stripped some gears in here and that's kind of the root of my problem at this point. You can see there's some damage to the inside, but putting it all back together, you can see here that uh, the thing actually opens and closes correctly, but it didn't actually resolve my final problem, but I was able to get it back together and this kind of shows how you do it. So that's taking it apart. Let's put it all back together. I honestly am doing a voiceover, so okay, hey, well, here we go. So the two pieces fit together, they don't snap together, and you put the, the uh, print, the hot end in, then you put the bottom of fan shroud on and secure it with the four screws. I'm checking to make sure it spins, then you tighten down the four screws into the extruder, flip it over, there's four more extrude, they're actual screws, Phillips screws on the extruder. Tighten those all down. You should probably hang on to it because the torque will go crazy. Then you put the one screw into the PCB and remount it to the whole assembly. Connect your wires back up here because you're going to need that stuff here when you get everything going. And you can take the fan shroud and put it over. Make sure you don't tuck into your wires behind. Get the last of your wires all hooked up and you're ready to go. I hold it up and then put the rear screws on, then put the front ones back on. And then the last thing you should do is hook your ribbon cable up. I hope this helps somebody. Uh, this is something that took me hours that I had to figure out, oh, this is where you adjust the tension on the film. It 